Welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to another video and Apple released iOS 18.2 with lots of different features finally and this update is out we are waiting for this update for a long while now and after two RC updates iOS 18.2 is out and it is out with tons of new features in this video I'm going to talk about all the features I will also talk about the battery life and the performance so without any further delay let's get jump into this video first thing first i will talk about features in two different sections because there are features that are for the every other iphone then there are set of features that are only for the apple intelligence iphones so in first section i will talk about the features that are available for every other iphone and in second section i will talk about the features that are for only for the apple intelligence iphone so let's start with the features that are available for every other iPhone. Starting with very first thing is all new mail application. So when you go into the mail, the mail application design is a bit changed over here. As you can see on top, there are filters and along with the mails, there are profile pictures. And if I give you a closer look, this is something how it looks like. Let's talk about these filters. This is the primary filter. Then there is a transactions filter then there is updates filter then there is promotions filter and when you swipe like this there is all mail filter this is how it looks like it's a small change but it is a like after so many hours this change is here in the mail application finally and it looks really really decent being very honest with you guys going to the second thing is if i go to the apple podcast over here while going into the library over here now there is a categories option available in the library now whatever show you are following is distributed into different categories over here arts business careers comedy and a lot more if i go to any category for example i will go to self-improvement over here the shows that you are following will show on the top section and there will be more options over here you can explore other shows related to this category by tapping on this star you can favorite the specific category when you go back from here and go back from here tap on your profile picture manage favorite categories are option available over here too if i go over here from here you can tap on any category and you can add it to favorites one as you can see so these are the changes that are available in the apple podcast when you go back and go back to the control center over here tap and hold add a control tap siri over here type to siri is now available if you don't want to speak you can use type to siri option over here there are wide range of changes available in the photos application related to the ui so if i go to the photos application over here the ui is very different as you can see uh, opening an image is different before this it was used to be something like this in this size and we need to tap to open it fully but now whenever you open any pic it is already open in a fully if you see this top header over here instead of cross over here it is back and the date and the time is also changed over here that is a, lo a nice little change over here which is very nice also when i go back from here and if i go to any other video for example let me find any video over here i'm not able to find any video let me find any sort of video maybe this one the ui of this is also changed now over here more option available with the millisecond option is also available as you can see also when you are in the dark mode let me go into the dark mode of dark icons if i go over here go to customize and i go to the dark over here and go back to the photos tap on this now these us uh, icons over here in the share sheet are also in a dark mode also the icon of airdrop is also slightly changed so these are the changes that are available in the photos application also when your app icons are in the dark mode when you go to the settings the settings icons are also into the dark mode as you can see that looks really really nice so if I change the color of these icons, for example, I go to customize and choose the tinted one. Maybe I choose something like this just to show you something like this and go back to the settings. These icons are also according to the data as you can see. 
this is also a really nice looking change also when you go to these sounds and haptics go all the way down over here there is a new volume limit option available into the volume limit you can set limit according to your choice so if you are having any sort of hearing problem you can set the volume limit and listen to the music according to your choice so minimum limit is over 20 percent and the maximum limit is 90 percent as you can see also when you go back from here go back from here go all the way down into the apps over here you will see default apps option into the default apps option there are multiple ways multiple options available for example you can change your email app you can change your browsing app and more it is also available a nice data change over here if you are in eu region now you can delete any sort of application you can even delete your photos you can even delete your app store or whatever you want that is also changed that is available over here which is a nice these are some of the changes that are available for every other iphone also there is one another feature that if i go to the find my over here now find my for lost items is also available so if you use any sort of air tag or something that is also available with this update now these are all the features that are available for every other iphone now i definitely want to talk about the features that are coming only for the specific iphones that are apple intelligence iphones so talking about apple intelligence iphones there are six different iphones that are apple intelligence starting from iphone 15 pro iphone 15 pro max and the complete lineup of iphone 16. other than these six devices no ai features coming to any other iphone so if i go to the photos application to show you the apple intelligence features i will go over here over here new application is coming application is out with the 18.2 known as image playground in the image playground application you can create any sort of images there are suggestions available and you can create anything you want you can give a prompt and the image will pop out also one of my favorite feature now you can create any sort of emoji with a gen emoji feature it is also in the 18.2 for example this is the prompt and this is how emoji looks like with this help of this feature you are able to make your conversations more relatable honestly i was hoping this which has come to every other iphone but it is only available for the apple intelligence iphone and being very honest with you guys um gen emoji is my one of the most favorite apple intelligence features i hope this comes to other iphones too but no it is not coming it is only for the apple intelligence iphone okay with another feature is the image wand that let you take your sketches to more professional one that is going to be quite useful in the notes application where you can draw any sort of um you can draw any sort of uh, image and you can make it look more professional with the help of image wand that is also available over here with the iphone 16 models visual intelligence is also available with the ios 18.2 where you can capture anything and get the information about that thing by pointing by just pointing the camera towards that app thing so these are the apple intelligence features that are coming with the ios 18.2 so talking about the battery life i'm using ios 18.2 for a while i tested out betas i tested out rc updates so i can easily say that this is a really good update battery life is really good performance is really good so far i'm also getting really good geekbench score if i talk about the battery life for a bit over here and go to the battery over here let the battery starts load if i show you this day over here where i used my phone for around 75 to 80 percent as you can see and i got 7 hours 20 minutes screen on time which is really decent i use these the applications as you can see youtube tab Mat, tiktok instagram and some other applications from this you can conclude that that yes battery life is really really good and if i talk about the performance over here i will show you a geekbench score of well let me go to the geekbench application over here this is the latest geekbench score of uh, uh, i was 18 but rc2 2374 of a single core and 5862 on a multi-core now this is a really good score instead in fact 2374 is the highest ever score 
which is really good thing so yeah performance is also really good but definitely ios 18.2 is just out now so i will definitely test out its battery life i will test out its performance and will share my experience with you guys so if you have any sort of question or you want to know about anything let me know in the comment section below this was a small simple video i wanted to talk about all the new features and everything and i will see you in my next video until then take care peace out